All right, let's talk about adding columns to TweetDeck. I went over it in class, but I want to make sure, or if you weren't in class and you want to know how to add a column to TweetDeck, I'm going to open up TweetDeck. And remember, I suggest that you install TweetDeck on your computer. This is also something you could manage from your browser if you wanted to, or on your um, on the Chrome browser in with the apps. So as you see on the side here, it's got icons for different things. So you can see the home icon mentions that I have a home column. The at means that I've got mentions of myself. The uh, lines with the person, that actually is the icon for a list. And the magnifying glass are icons for searches. And the bell is an icon for notifications. So as you can see, I've got a number of columns already listed. But I want to add some new ones that we'll, we would use for this particular class. So I'm going to add the plus here for add column. And I want to search. And I'm going to look for um, SD Ed Lead Tech. So I'm going to do hashtag SD Ed Lead Tech. And this is going to be different from our group. So I'm going to enter that first. And I'm going to see that when I do SD Ed Lead Tech, it's a combination of both cohort one and cohort two. So I can click add column. And you can see that that's a magnifying glass. And now I want to add the list to our uh, cohort two. And so I'm going to do the plus sign again. And I'm going to choose list. And here you need to, you're going to see your lists. And in order to get, I created the SD Edley Tech cohort two list. You should all be members. And so what you needed to do in Twitter is to have subscribed to the list. And if you do that, then you'll see it on your lists. So I'm going to click it here, make sure it's got our crew, which it does. And then I'm going to add the column. So as you can see now, we've added columns for SD Edley Tech, the hashtag, and SD Edley Tech the cohort. And as you can see, looking at the two, they're very similar, but they're not identical because they contain um, tweets from everybody that uses the SD Edley Tech hashtag. And these are tweets just for people inside of our group. Um, the next thing we're doing is responding to uh, Kevin Brookhauser's book. And that was using a hashtag. So I'm going to go for a search that was using hashtag EDL 680 book. So I'm going to search that hashtag and see that Michael's been doing his tweets, Natalie, etc. So this is what I want. I'm going to add that column. So it's going to make it a whole lot easier for me to see which of my peers have um, done this particular assignment so that when I go to create the Storify that I'll talk about, uh, I can pull them right from here, which is nice. And the other one that we were bookmarking, and as you can see, Michael gave, gave a great example here, we're bookmarking it, or tagging it, I'm sorry, both 20 time and EDL, a 680 book. And 20 time again is the scope of a 20 time project or 20% project hashtag used globally. So I can get some more ideas. So I'm going to do one more column, hit the plus sign, and I'm going to go to search. And I'm going to do hashtag 20 time. And as you can see, I've already searched that. So I deleted the column so I could show you how I put it in. And then you'll see here you've got Michael's last few cheat tweets plus Natalie's. And then you'll see other people around the country using that as well. So I'm going to add that column. And so now my tweet deck is filtered out information for me based on the 20 time, based on EDL 680 book, and based on SD Edley Tech cohort list, and the SD Edley Tech hashtag. So that's how you add them. If you want to move them, I can go up and I have all kinds of options over the column itself. I can uh, change the users, change the level of engagement, the alerts, the previews, but I can also move things right or left. So that's a nice way for me. If I want to get all my certain columns in a row, I can do that as well. So I can move that over one or I can move that back. So that's SD at League Tech. So that's how you put these in your tweet deck and then they'll continue to feed that information to you even when you are not online. So I hope that worked for you. Let me know if you have any questions.